This map first impressions video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at East Bridge Hills. This map can be found over at modhub.us and I have included a link in the description below. So this map has gone through several iterations and as of this video, the map is currently at version 1.2.1. 1. Um, so there may be a possibility that in the meantime, uh, this map does get updated. But at uh, any rate, this is the version of the map as of version 1.2.1. 1. 1. So let's go ahead and just jump on in. Go Mahindra. Camera collision and crosshair. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull up the log. See the map is loading up thickety split. Lots of default starting equipment. Lots of placeables. And there we go. I'm not really sure what this error is here. Bearing does not have all the required vertex attributes for material. Not really sure what that does. It comes up as soon as you load in. Um, like I said, I'm not really sure what the deal is with that error. It's actually the first time that I recall seeing it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map itself. Zoom on out here. So we've got lots of square or fairly square fields. Take a look at the lands. You'll see that we start on new farmer mode, owning the main farm, which is the, this big section here, as well as field 1, 7, 8, 11, 18, and 21. If you look at field prices, you can see they're pretty reasonable given the size of these fields. $900,000, $700,000, $500,000 for those. Then we get smaller sections like 23 is 137,000. And then we have the BGA for $117,000. There you go. So you see that we have several cell points, one, two, three, four, five, six cell points for most of our crops. We have a cell point for eggs, milk, and cotton and wool. Do not have a cell point for hay, straw, or grass until we purchase the BGA. See, we have quite a list of starting equipment. Uh, none of it is leased. But it is a lot of starting equipment, a whole heck of a lot. And we do have contracts on the map. Field 22, $30,000 basically to harvest. That's a pretty good price. Field 19 will bring you in almost $18,000 for cotton. A pretty good price. So let's take a look at that starting fleet that I talked about. We start out with two tractors, John Deere 6250R and 8400R, range in horsepower from 300 to 450 horsepower. We've got Roadrunner truck and a Warrior semi. We've got the S790 John Deere harvester. We've got the FR780 New Holland forage harvester. Let's see what kind of header we have to go with those. We've got the row crop and the uh, grain header for the um, harvester for the John Deere harvester, and then we've got the big nine meter New Holland horn head for the forage harvester. We've got the self propelled um, power food mixer, the Stara uh, solid and liquid fertilized spreader and sprayer, self propelled. Crone Big M, we've got the Manitou telehandler, we've got a pickup truck, we've got a pair of, of, um, Forklifts, we've got the Wilson trailer, Strauderman trailer, the uh, SIWA 720 trailer, Agriliner trailer, we've got the Elmer's overload wagon or the auger wagon, we've got the big old plow from the uh, from the big bud pack, uh, the SPSL9, we've got the big cultivator from the big bud pack, the Swiffer SM18000, got the big Amazon Condor Cedar. The Tempo L16 planter. 
got the burrito fertilized spreader, got the big Strauderman manure spreader, got the Garrett um, slurry tank transport, big Pottinger tether, the Merge Max windrower, and we've got the forge wagon, the big Rapid 8400W forge wagon, got the Coon square baler, got the square bale trailer, the Arkison, got the square bale wrapper, and we've got the semi tanker, got the Coon straw blower, and a momentary uh, lapse of memory there. We've got the Joskin water tank, the Wilson animal trailer, we've got the Brockman horse trailer, we've got a silage blade, we've got a silage compactor roller there, we've got front loader arms with bucket, and we've got a bale spike for the telehandler. We've got a John Deere weight, we've got a pair of quantum belts and a pair of lizard pickup belts, and then we get into the placeables. Got uh, lots of placeables uh, all over the map. Basically, we own all of the animal animal areas. So we've got two big pig areas, got a large cow shed, um, another large cow area, two large sheep areas, a couple horse areas, a custom chicken coop, a large silo here for the farm, and then multiple auxiliary silos. Straw storage, hayloft, root crop storage, bunkers, and then scattered around the map, we have these, which provide pretty much any crop, any fill type you want, at no cost. So we got one, two, three, four, four, um, four or five of those, and then we go into several buildings that are placed down on the map that we could sell, including several fuel pumps, water tanks. And power washers. And at the very end, the milk plant is ours also. So, like I said, a ton of stuff in your garage at the starting point. Since we talked about those custom buildings, let's go ahead and take a look at placeables. These are areas that we could sell and put down. We've got, as far as custom place animal areas, we've got a big horse husbandry area. Big pig area, sheep, cow, chicken, another cow area. Good miscellaneous, we've got the uh, milk plant and a custom water station. Not really sure what the differences between these two are. A fuel pump, and then we've got a workshop. We'll take a look at that as we walk around. We've got our root crop storage. Got our large silo complex. There you go. Nothing in decorative. Got several sheds here in the sheds area. And then our farmhouse, we just have the EU farmhouse to go with. So here we are. This is our kind of our career start point. And you'll see inside here are our two semis. And whatnot parked. Got a large. This is the shop, uh, the custom shop. Nice signs, all decorative up. That passes through into the area where the semis are housed. Then we can come in here and we can raise and lower the, uh, the work platform. the door. Here's one of our power washers. Let's just go ahead and kind of explore the main farm here. Now, there is a lot going on to this main farm. So this is one of our sheep areas. There you go. There's one of the forklifts. This is one of the custom sheep pins. You'll basically come here to, uh, to get your sheep. Is see there is the food food trough, the water trough, and actually way over here in this big area, this is where the pallets are going to spawn. Now you're going to be able to get lots of pallets in here before you're going to have to empty them out. Gate opens up. Just come in, hit, go ahead and come around this way to one of our big vehicle sheds. 
Got a hint that our harvesters might be in here. So we've got our headers out here. Just the pipe. There's our big harvester. Some of our big equipment. Okay, based on the equipment that we get here, this map is geared up for big farming. Now I will tell you on farm manager mode, if you put this up in farm manager mode, this farm is built out exactly how you see it, uh, including equipment. Now, the only difference is that you don't own any land in farm manager mode, but you also start with a lot more or um, a lot more money. Here is the uh, interesting that the shop trigger is not in the shop. Uh, right beside it is over here in this uh, this building right here. Interestingly enough, on the back we got this cool little trash area. We got some old junk cars. Around the back. Let's just go ahead and keep on going around the main farm area. Kind of just do a little circle tour. Here we've got a root crop storage. Tip in there, and of course, we'll get out around the back. And here is the big silo complex. With the dump nicely flattened to the ground and then the fill pipe. Now, I wouldn't be suggesting you come in here with a trailer that's going to tip up way high because the fill pipe is pretty low and you're probably going to smash into it. So this is really equipped for the belly dump Wilson trailer. Got your horse training grounds here, and then right beside that you have your horse husbandry area. Horses are going to do their living. Just run through here. Of course, we've got the food trough right here, and the straw trigger, I believe, is also in there. I think you'll probably just be able to pull up in here and blow into there. Let's go ahead and just get a horse. Yes. Get your water trough. And what's really cool about I just really like this horse area because you kind of got this this little building off to the side uh, that you could use to store your hay and everything for the horses if you wanted to, or just just some more equipment. We've got this isn't useful. We got kind of a walking, walking thing here where you could uh, hook the horses up and they just kind of walk themselves around in a circle. Over here we've got two silo bu silage bunkers, and then this is the straw storage. Kind of just have some storage on this side of the building, and then on this side over here. We have a dump and a fill for straw. Some compacting equipment. Some more equipment in here. Here's one of those multi-fill silos. Go ahead and come on around here to one of the horse area or the one of the cow areas. So here we've got the manure pit, and obviously the belts are already set up. We've got slurry and water, and uh, this is the big old one of the big old horse or cow husbandry areas. So we've got the food trough in here. Probably the straw trigger is also in here. Come through this side of the building. You've got your milk area, clearly defined with milk jugs and, well, what else do you think? Milk tanker. And then right here where we've got the gates 
is where we're going to basically be able to purchase our cows. And uh, they just kind of hang out inside the shed. And kind of walk around. The water tank. Got over here, we've got the pig area. So we've got some more tankers, slurry tank, and our another, that's our manure spreader. Got the manure pile for the pigs, and again, if you weren't sure what the uh, belts were for, well, that should tell you they're set up there to help belt the manure out. Got our pig area here, and the way we feed and water these guys is we actually do it from outside. This is the pig food area, and then the water trigger right there. Right beside that, we've got slurry, and of course you saw the manure point. Let's go ahead and pick a pig. There he is, walking around. That is the pig zone. Let's go ahead and move on over here to the chicken area. A custom chicken area. Go ahead and open that up. Come here. This is where the eggs are going to spawn. There's our other forklift. And this is where we actually will purchase the chickens. And they are... You've got your food trigger for your chickens. And there he is. There's the little brown chicken. And then, of course, we've got even more buildings, more sheds, more equipment. This farm is fully equipped and ready to go basically from the very start. And there is... You have no needs at all early on, that is for sure. Alright guys, so that is basically the main farm. What we're going to do is go ahead and get our Mahindra. And the shop is right down here. Jump it down here to the shop. Got our purchase trigger. Got our customized repair and sell trigger right there. See where the vehicles spawn. Looks like there will be plenty of area here for the vehicles to spawn in. Zoom on out and just take a look around the map a little bit. So there is the main farm down there. We can already see across the way here another one of the auxiliary um, silos and what looks like another uh, pig enclosure. So there are several pig enclosures that are not, but there are several animal enclosures that are not here at the main farm. Got a sheep enclosure over here. Got a horse paddock down there. Got a cow pasture down here to the south. And then we've got a pig enclosure here. So really, we own all of those areas on new far new farmer mode, but you know in theory this area could be its own person, um, two hundred forty-five thousand. This area could be their own person, four hundred ten. This area four twenty-six, and this area two fifty-six. So you really could have one, two, three, four, five different farmers on this as a multiplayer map without really having to do too terrible much. Let's go ahead and just drive on down here. Lots of areas around the fields, so the fields should be very helper friendly. See there's our milk, milk plant. Again, this is same cow or the same she or um, pig area 
that we had at the main farm with the added benefit of a secondary silo. And like I said, this place, this thing here will let you buy stuff. Let's see here. We can purchase wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, sugar cane, seed, mixed rations, chaff, wood chips, grass, hay, straw, fertilizer, manure, pig food, lime, and back to wheat. Like I said, we can pretty much purchase all of the fill types from that silo if we, uh, if we need any. There is one of the other power washers there by the manure pit. Go ahead and move on over here to the uh, to the milk plant. You can see the trigger for that right there. Supreme milk receiving department. There's your milk cell trigger. And again, if you didn't want that, you could sell that off and uh, use that as a placeable area, should you so wish. Look here. So we already looked up here. Here and here. So let's go ahead and just go south and make our way around. Then we'll conclude up here at North Rain Mill. So when I first saw the name East Bridge Hills, I was like, "Oh, I wonder if this is a a uh, spin on West Bridge Hills uh, from previous Farm Sim fame." And uh, well, I don't think it is. Uh, the original base map PDA is included in the download, uh, so and it, the map was originally the EU map. Um, but it is, is rather interesting. I do like the overall look, look of everything. Not a giant fan of what I call the uh, cookie cutter or the stamped squared rectangular fields. But uh, there's plenty of grass area around them that you could, man, that is one big field there. That you could really enhance the fields and, and make them a little less uh, squarish or rectangularish. Here we've got our, this is a really nice logging area. I like how this is all built out. We've got our log cell trigger there. All the rest of this is just decorative. Right here on the fringe. Been nice if we maybe had a little bit going on, but of course, average person is probably, is not gonna be seeing this from this height. Probably the average person is gonna be seeing it from maybe this height or in cab, depending on how you drive. Got the wood chip cell point around back, right there. Got one of the cell points right here. And nicely set up for the belly dump. You know, those cell points where you've got to go up on a high ramp everything they're really not well for a belly dump style it's BGA here pretty standard farm sim 19 BGA we've got our digester we've got our digestate fill trigger there and we've got two large bunkers Easy access from both sides of the road, or both sides of the BGA, very good. Like that we don't have perfectly straight roads here. You know, sometimes map makers will kind of take the easy route and just lay down a grid of roads uh, with 90 degree intersections, but I do like how we kind of curve and turn around. Here we've got another one of the animal areas. So we've got another straw, straw building here where we can equipment storage on one side and straw on this side. Let's see, is it only straw or does it also take hay? 
Let's see, let's back up here. Oh, we take wood chips, hay, grass, straw, silage, wood chips. Okay. So there you go. Silage bunkers. We got our water trigger, the universal fill, and then a silo right next to it. Slurry, manure, it's a fuel tank. And another cow barn. So just like the other cow barn, your fill trigger is going to be on this side. This one's a bit more open. There's your, there's your straw trigger right there, I bet. Straw and food. Elk building there. There it is. It's just over here on the other side. Where is the, uh, it's a delivery point. To get your cows. There. There. Milk. Milk. Oh, it's right over here. I remember. I checked this map out about about a day and a half ago. Kind of forgot. So right here at the ramp. There you go. You got a little cow area. A little area for them to walk around. Then big building. Get your water trigger. There. Shut the gate. Can indeed. Good deal. All right. Let's go ahead and get our Mahindra and move on to the next area. Got a little bit of vehicle equipment storage here also. Now here, here we've got a long road, but look, this thing is, this thing has some hills, some rolling hills. Going up a hill, look at that. I like how that is all set up. Let's go ahead and cut across this way. Check out this area of the map over here. Pull up the PDA so you can kind of see where we are cutting across. Some vehicle sheds. I mean, it's it's kind of Westbridge Hillsy feel. Maybe. No, no. Let me go. Big old, big old grass field there. Field eleven. Now we're cutting through the uh, cutting through the rock ridges. Kind of an interesting interesting road. Again, it's not flat and it's not straight. So we're going up quite a hill here. I'm going to pull on in here. This is another one of the horse areas. The water trough. Again, where we're going to purchase our horse. It's a feed trough and the straw trigger right in there. Water tank, silo, fill, fill silo, fuel. Here we've got the animal dealer. Right here, so we're going to go to, uh, let's get out, back in, 
Oh, sorry. This is not the animal dealer. This is our wool. This is our wool cell point. Animal dealer is right next door. Here's the animal dealer. Like, why is that not working? There you go, and now I can pick where we want the animals to go. And then we have one more cell point down here. Again, it's well equipped for the belly dumps because it's just in the ground. It's not a uh, it's not a ramp up or anything. So let's let's do a little in cab driving as we make our way up to the next area. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a feel for the for the road. Definitely get a feel for how it looks at this level. Trees, you know, we're, we're running right along the map edge, but the way he's raised that edge up from in cab, you can't tell. No. This, you see the distance horizon, so that's pretty cool. And if you're a third person driver all the time, um, you don't get to see this view. Seen me, or seen me plenty of country roads that are long like this and straight, but have these hills in between. Growing up, we used to have a uh, a section of road we called the Seven Daughters. They had seven pretty quick in succession um, hills, and if you took them at the right speed, meaning a little bit faster than you should be, the well, car got an awful light, and uh, you. Uh, well, you, you didn't feel like you were really sitting in the seat anymore. And, uh, well, you definitely knew if you had to go to the bathroom. At any rate, we've got our new, our additional, um, this is sheep area. So we've got our water trigger. We've got our large area for our wool. We've got our delivery point. And then we've got the food trigger over here. Pretty much every animal area is going to have a water tank. We've got a universal filter um, silo. We've got the hayloft. This is just the in-game hayloft. This is just a... Uh, well, this is a cell point, but we've got a wash station. And then we've got a cell cell point over here. There you go. So an idea that I kind of just had in my head that, uh, I mean, it might be... The map author might be, not be too keen on it because he's gone through the effort of of uh, putting all of these custom placeables in the map. Check out that rock area. But, uh, you know, that, uh, that American building pack from um, Modding Welt, okay, and this map, that would go along pretty darn good. Just right up here. The reason I drove up here is because now I can just look out across the map all the way around. We should be able to see as far as we can. It's the main farm. Ha <laughs> ha. 
probably. <laughs> oh, I could have picked a better. Could have picked a better area to. Uh, There we go. Could have picked a better area to come down the hill there. Right, let's take this road. Head on up here to the north area. Which is the last area we're going to need to take a look at. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What do y'all think of this map? I kind of like it. It's, it's, this is not meant in a bad way. It, it's simple, and I don't mean that in a bad way whatsoever. Uh, it's not trying to be complex. It's not trying to be, um, you know, anything other than just what it is. It just feels, feels big, it feels open, feels American, um, has lots of cool animal areas in it everything so here we've got another one of the root crop storage buildings over here at this cell point we've got another fuel station universal filling thing we got our another power washer here you go and we got some more buildings over here for storage and for additional equipment as you grow your fleet or maybe you just want to station some of that equipment that's at the main farm over here to another area so guys, that is East Bridge Hills, version 1.2.1. .1. Like I was saying, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this map? I think it's pretty cool. I think I like it. And until next time, happy farming.